All right, 2.4. Permutation when objects are identical. Uh, often, this is what we call permutations with repetition. Is it repetition? Maybe repetition. Yeah, maybe that makes more sense. Okay, so what do we mean by objects are identical or repetition? Well, if you were taking, say, the word bike, and you were to find all the different reputa uh, repetition, or sorry, different permutations, well, you'd go B I K E, right? Now, how there's four letters, right? So you have four choices for the. Uh, first, three for the second, two for the third, and one, which is four factorial, which works out to be 24. Now, if you take this four letter uh, word book, it actually doesn't give the same answer. Why? Because, given the example B O O K, because there's two O's, if you switch these two O's around, you still get the same word. So it's not considered unique. So when you have repeated letters within a word, you're going to get less permutations. And if you went and did this one, you'd get book and B, O, K, O, and B, K, oops, B, K, O, D, um, K O O B K B D O O B O K. See, and if you switch the O's on that, it's not going to make a different word. Same with this one O O B K. I mean, all of these, by switching just the O's, you don't get a different uh, O O K B. And O K B O. I'm missing one. O K. Oh yeah, O O K B as well. And I'm missing one over here. K B O O. Oh yeah, K O B O. So you'll see here you get twelve ways. Now, we need a better way than actually writing them out like that all the time when there's repetition. So we will have a better way. The better way is there is two O's. You see that? So what you do is you're going to go 4 factorial divided by, since there's two O's, we're going to divide it by 2 factorial, which would be 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial, right? Those cancel, and that 4 times 3 is 12. So, key ideas. There are fewer, fewer permutations when some of the objects are identical. This is because some arrangements are identical. Now, the number of permutations of n objects where A is identical, and say B is identical, and the, say there's C, and so on, you take your normal factorial, like the 4 factorial, and divide by all the repeats. So since there was two O's, we did two factorial. But what about this case where you have A, A, B, B? So there's four letters, but there's two A's and there's two O's. So you do your four letters on top, four factorial, and there's two A's, so two factorial, two O's, two factorial, and you will get the answer six. And they list, they're listed below. There's A, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, A, B, B, A, B, A, A, B, B, A, and B, A, A, B. There is not any more. I mean, if you switch these two around or switch these two around, you're not getting a different word. Okay, so let's do some. Now, evaluate these. Well, it's not a big deal. You can put it into your calculator. But I wanted to give a scenario. Um, say you had, say we're talking about pool balls. We had seven pool balls. 
Okay? And if there was three red, two blue, one black, one orange, well, there's seven balls, right? Add them up, seven balls, divided by the three red, the two blue. And if you put that into your calculator, now, always make sure that when you put it into your calculator, let me just get mine going here, you always put brackets around the bottom since there's more than one. Let me clear. So this is what you do. You'd go three, math, right, probability, factorial, divided by, open your bracket. Oops, sorry, that's supposed to be seven factorial, divided by three, math, factorial, Two, you don't have to put a time sign. Math, oops, no too far. Factorial, and we should get the answer 420. Yay, 420. Okay, now B. B would be, there would be, I would say on B, we would have the example. This is like eight pool balls. So there would be, say, two red, two blue, two black, one purple, and one orange. Okay, so there's your eight. So we'd go eight factorial divided by, there's two red, two blue, and two black. And when you put that all in, you will get 5,040 different arrangements. Okay, here's another example in the mountain re uh, mountainous regions of India, uh, China, Nepal, Bhutan. It's common to see prayer flags. Each uh, flag has a player, uh, prayer written on it, and the color is used to symbolize different elements. Green is water, yellow earth, white air, blue sky, red fire. How many different arrangements of the same prayer can be used using these nine flags? There's one green, one yellow, two white, three blue, two red. Okay? So we have nine flags. We go nine factorial. Any repetitions? Yeah, we have two white. So I'm going to go two factorial. We have three blue. I will go three factorial. And we have two red. I will go two factorial. Again, how are we going to put that into our calculator? Now, sometimes it's actually easier to, uh, instead of retyping everything, go second, enter. And it brings back the last question. And then it's, not, it's actually faster. That's 9 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 3 factorial. And now I'm going to hit second delete, which is insert. And then I'm going to go, what's my last one here? 2 factorial, 2 math, come over. Four and drum roll. Error. It's very anticlimactic. What did I do? Two brackets. So go second enter. Cannot have two brackets. Okay, and enter. Finally got it. Fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty. Fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty arrangements. Okay, let's do uh, let's do one that uh, is more typical to be on the diploma. How many ways uh, can the letters of the word Canada be arranged? If the first letter must be an N and the last letter must be a C, so they have restrictions and repetitions. Now go through. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six letters. Any repetitions? We have three A's. So this we're going to use the fundamental counting principle and the repetition. Okay, so let's do, we have uh, six letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have restrictions. The first one must be an N. How many N's are there? One. The last letter must be a C. How many we got? One. Okay, so how many are we left with? Four letters, right? So four, three, two, one. 
And because there's three a's, we're going to take this entire thing and divide it by 3 factorial. So as you can see, this is like actually 4 factorial, right? 4 times 3 times. I mean, you can put it in your calculator, you'll get 24, right? But if you did this, 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial, that's the same thing as 4 times 3 factorial over 3 factorial. Those would cancel, you get the answer, 4. Now if you did it without that, you go 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. 24 and 3 factorial is 3 times 2, which is 6, times 1 is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So I'm just using the factorial way to show you there, so uh, you can keep practicing those. Okay, so we've we got to be prepared for one of these. This is uh, a repetition question that could uh, most likely show up in the diploma. Now we've got Julia's home is three blocks north and five blocks west of her school. How many routes can Julie take from home to school if she always travels south and east? So we never eat soggy wieners, okay? So she must always go east and south. That's the only way, see east and south, that's the only way she's allowed to go to school. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do this old school, just in case you want to check it, and then I'll show you how to do it using the formula. Now, if you're starting here, see there's one way to get to here. And we're always going to put ones across and ones down. Okay, my ones look like arrows, so I'll make this more look like a one. How's that? Okay, so that's the first thing you always do, and you do them right at the corners. Then we add up the number way. See, we've got this arrow and this arrow. We add them together, and we get two. And we add this and this. Two plus one is three. Then I have that one coming down from the top. Three over here. One plus three is four. And then I got 1 plus 4 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. Okay, because you actually have six ways to get here. Right there, you have six ways. Now, let's do this corner right here. Okay, so I'm going to do this row now. And all I do is I go 2 plus 1 and I get my 3. So I go 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 5 plus 10 is 15. 6 plus 15 is 21. One more row. I got 3 plus 1 is 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. 15 plus 20 is 35. 21 plus 35 is 56. Okay? So that's the long way of doing it. The other way is count how many blocks to school. So you're right here. You've got to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? That's 8 blocks of school. Now, it doesn't matter which way you go. Watch. As long as you've you got to go uh, east and south, right? So, say start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What if you go this way? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It doesn't matter which way you go. It's 8 blocks to school. Okay? So, it's 8 blocks to school. And then you've got repetitions because you count how many downs? One, two, three. Okay, there's three souths. Okay, no matter which way you go. Like if you went this way, there'd be one, two, three souths. Okay, and then you count how many east? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, do you see how I did that? No matter how you go. One, two, three, four, five. There will be five Easts. 
This is how you do it. There's eight blocks to school. You divide by the three souths and the five east. And when you put that into your calculator, okay, so I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to go second, enter, bring that other one. I'm going to go eight divided by three factorial, five factorial, and I'm going to delete, delete those. Okay, so eight factorial divided by three factorial, five factorial, 56. Hey, that's what I got, 56, do you see? Okay, so this is the short way, obviously, and that way is a long way, but there's 56 different ways to school. Okay, so what are we working on? We're working on page 35 to 37.